my gosh, you guys, check this out. It's like a giant squid snail. Hey! I'm vlogging here. Airport authorities after us, and they have a machine gun on board. You look at that, dude. Nobody's messing with these boys, I'll tell you what. Well, here we are headed out to Ellis Island to go see Lady Liberty herself. I'm gonna tell her what they said in Philadelphia about the Liberty Bell being the symbol of liberty for the world. She's gonna hear about this. Last time we were here is when we ran, me and Carly ran the New York City Marathon. Remember, Dad? And you can do this too. Mile 25! Arrest me, I don't wanna do it anymore! I like your son! I do, we had a lot of fun. That was a good trip. That was a great trip. Speaking of marathons, I'm chubby. I should try to run again. Oh yeah, remember when I used to run marathons? I switched from running marathons to being an alcoholic. <laughs> no. Oh, don't put that on. <laughs> You're a marathon drinker now. <laughs> Dad, too soon, bro, too soon. <laughs> That's a drinking. shot that's cool so I've been to Ellis Island a number of times I've been around the statue I've just I've never been inside but uh, I think they're letting people inside so we're gonna go check it out me too lady liberty look that's the bottom of the Statue of Liberty's foot what are those <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is my first time inside of the Statue of Liberty building. Pretty cool. Now her nose is about four and a half feet long. Her mouth is about three feet wide. Now one of the things you will notice, of course, would be a very bright copper color. Now there was no color photography at this point in time. So that face is the actual size of the Statue of Liberty. She's made out of copper, but she's green because copper gets uh, oxidation. Oxy 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 it's green. Dude, I have the biggest hangnail. She's wearing flip-flops. That's what the shoe was I was looking out out there. Statue of Liberty's wearing a flip-flop. So as many of you know, the Statue of Liberty was a gift to the United States, but they built it in France before they shipped it over here. So people, you know, used to go see the statue in France and then they brought it over on a boat and gave it to us. I wonder if America was suspicious. It's almost like a Trojan horse, right? Like, hey, America, here's a giant statue, but really it's a bomb. <laughs> Can't say that in here. I get in trouble. This place is secure. We had to go through two airport security screenings. Like, take off the coat, hat, belt, everything. Twice, just to get into this building. Yeah, that person's good at origami. There's a paper Statue of Liberty. Yeah, I wonder if birds live up in her hat. Tickle, 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 tickle. All right, this is cool. There's 195 steps up to the pedestal. This is really exciting, genuinely. I've like always wanted to go inside of the Statue of Liberty. Well, after 9-11, they didn't let people do it. 176 steps. <laughs> All right, so we're right here. We have 26 steps left. Little known fact, the Statue of Liberty used to function as a lighthouse for 16 years, and her light could be seen an estimated 24 miles away. Papa Yoy, that's a bright light coming into the harbor. All right, we are inside, but you cannot go up into the statue unless you book a ticket, and it's like winning the lottery. It's really hard to get a ticket to go up inside there. He said there's 6,000 cameras. Oh, cool. Yeah, so you can see up and just look, 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 I'll show you. So that is up that side. There's two like observations up there. That side's looking up her skirt and this one's looking up into where the torch is. They're so secure. I mean, they don't. You said they're probably sold out anyway. Yeah. Go to go outside? Yeah. 
Hey guys, okay, today we're going to the Museum of, what's it called? Ancient Life. Museum of Ancient Life with like dinosaur bones and stuff. And the fun thing that we're gonna look for, they have 13 gnomes that are hidden throughout the museum. So we're gonna see if we can find them. It's gonna be fun. Let's check it out. They have real fossils, real dinosaur bones from the, uh, you know, the earth. <laughs> those days. It's going to be hard for me to talk. Look, they whole, have a whole lab where they're showing them uncovering actual dinosaur bones. Look at this. <gasps> That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is for real. Look at these bones. Wow. Let me see. That's really awesome. So tell me again where, what quarry? A quarry it's in Wyoming? Cabin quarry. Oh, that is so neat. And These were found in Wyoming, and it's, can I film you? What's that? Can I film you? Do you film mind? Me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Huh. Can you tell us what dinosaur this is from? This is a barosaurus. A barosaurus. Barosaurus, B-A-R-O, like a barometer. And it's you said, it's, it looks like that up yep, on the wall. Like and this is just the neck bone. That, this is one cervical vertebrae, which is a neck bone. And so its neck would actually be like the size of this room. Going from, yep, basically that. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yep. This is so cool. I'm happy. This made my whole day. Well, sometimes people come and they say, are these bones real? It's like, yeah, they're real. Yeah, they're real. They're totally real. They're real. So, Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy the rest of the museum. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you guys. She just gave these guys some dinosaur bone. This is actual Jurassic sand and dinosaur bone. And she was saying that once these kids touch it, they will be the third person to touch it since it has come out of the ground, since it's been dead for thousands of years. Yeah, we're the third person to touch it. Yeah. 145 million years. 145 million years? Ah! just time travel. And you said that he is the first one to touch it. He's the first? And she's I'm the, the second. second. And these kids are the third. And they put a period at the end of that sentence, nobody else has to touch it. Yeah. yeah. So these are your dinosaur bones. That is really cool. So you said you them? had four kids? Yes. Well, four here with me today. The other one's on the other side of this camera in okay. New York. Yeah. Oh, how old is he? He's on the American He's 14. There's the city. There's the lady right above us. Let's go around to the front and see if we can see her face. So we're like too close to the base of her to see her face, but there's her legs and her torch. The torch of freedom. I bet her arm's tired from holding that up so long. Yeah, that oxidiz... Oh my hell, I can't say that word. Oxidation? I want to say it oxidization. Oxidation is the process of like the, you know, probably salt in the air turning the copper green. You can, from this close, you can kind of see it's like coated, like you can almost like scratch it off. So I'm trying to see her face. I'm right on the edge here. <laughs> if I had a selfie stick, I could lean it out here. I could see her face. I'm afraid I'm gonna drop my camera. And it's a long way down. This is pretty cool. Have you guys ever been up here? That was cool. I'm glad we went up there. Uh, the guy said that in order to go up like inside Lady Liberty, you have to uh, get a ticket online, and he said you have a better chance of winning the Powerball. Apparently it's really hard to get tickets to go up there. Maybe one of you know how I could. Next time I come, I'm gonna call you, and we're gonna go up there together, okay? Hey, Gavin. Hey, what? What are you doing? I'm uh, just hanging out. What are you doing? Where are you at? Wave at me. <laughs> you guys, look, Gavin's right there. Lean over the edge. I want to see her face. <laughs> Hi. Bye bye. Gavin. <laughs> There's Dad wearing his Pebble Creek hoodie. There's a Statue of Liberty. So, oh man, we just got down from the Empire State Building. Or, oh my, I can't think. Statue of Liberty. And uh, we are leaving currently, and we're leaving today. I'm not very funny, and I don't know. It's been a while, guys. Oh, geez, we're going through bars. Yeah, we're going on a flight tonight. We're gonna see all the kids and go swimming, maybe. Right? 
<laughs> yes. Yes. Gavin wants to swim. So I want to swim so bad. He's, that's all. He, this whole trip, he's like, I want to go swimming. <laughs> he's jealous of the kids at, in the hotel and I yeah. Swim. So twin in to Gavin's buds. Hey buds, give me bounce. Dolphin. Oh, I missed it. All right, on to the next site in the city. We're about to head into the National Museum of the American Indian. Here we are in the Native American Museum, where the pillar and the column are seen. Somebody in that tent is camping. I hope they had s'mores before they went to bed because those are tasty. Cow heads on the wall in the museum. What is this called? The light and sound part? The light and sound. Light and sound. Light and sound. It's cool in here. I like the interior design. Got a music video going too. This is art and history in the collections of the National Museum of the American Indian. Is that disrespectful to beatbox with the music video? Look at these spears. This is an ancient Indian scarf that was sponsored by Geico, which is pretty cool. I found a picture of Ishi. Of who's he? Ishi. Who's Shisi? Ishi was on the last Native American, indigenous Americans in California when uh, some guys, Pope and Young, found him. He oh, cool. Helped him uh, preserve his way of life until the end. But he was like the last of his uh, tribe, That's and he people. died. And he said he wanted to continue on his days in the museum they had set up, so he did. He yeah. did uh, in, if you go all the way down, showed some of his arrows. They they copied everything they could about him to learn how to be better bow hunters. Uh -huh. And uh, that's kind of how Pope and Young Club started, which is the record book for big game. Yeah. Records taken by archery equipment. Out of all these museums, different peoples, different times, my one conclusion is that we're all the same. We have different, right. different, you know, outfits, different foods, different cultures, but we all like bright colors, comfortable clothes, good food. Handsome men, pretty women, fresh drink of cold water. We're pretty much the same. Pepsi, everybody loves a Pepsi. Ice cold Pepsi, Coca-Cola classic on the rocks, no straw, Michael's creeping in the back of my video again. <laughs> Just found my new ski gloves. Dude, I would totally wear those. Those are awesome. Look at that pipe. I wanna smoke out of that. Just, I mean, just because, look, look how cool it is. Not that like, my guy smoke. I mean, I, uh, I gotta go. Is it going right now? Yeah. R-E-C. Yep. Sounds for record label. Do you guys look like there's this new thing you should do to your friends, like a bounce, give me a bounce. Baseball. I'm continually impressed by how they could build such amazing buildings without the, you know, use of a lot of the modern tools and technology, electricity, all the stuff that we use today. These were some real craftsmen, some real masters of their craft, if you will. I am feeling, because I've been reading comments, which I tend to do because I like to hear what you guys say, but I'm starting to be like, oh, I shouldn't say that because then people will say this. I'm starting to get in my head about, you know, things that I say and how they're going to be, you know, portrayed. Here we are in Bowling Green Park. It is the first public park to be established in New York in 1733. It is the oldest park in America. Just like a little circle. Apparently the Dutch built it when they came here to settle. Do any of you care? Are you like, where's the kids? I don't care about history, Shay. I want to see cute family moments. I know. We're going to go home tonight. I'm vlogging upside down. And we're going to see Colette and the kids tonight. We land in Salt Lake at midnight. And they're going to pick us up from the airport. Flip it. Hey. Gavin, she gave you some dinosaur bones too. So we're going to bring this home to you. <laughs> Oh, this is creeping me out. Galaxy Say that again. Alien. You're a galaxy alien? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys check this out. It's like a giant squid snail. Crazy. Is that a fish snail? I don't know. But he, I wouldn't want to run into him in the ocean. I did not like that. He lived 
millions of years ago. He did? Yeah. That's so cool. Is he real? Okay guys, we're about to go through a little cave thing. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, take me. Uh-huh. Go through the cave. Tell us if you see any dinosaurs in there. Go through there. There might be real dinosaurs in there. Oh, no, she just... Jackson, look, look, follow me. Look, just go in there. Whoa, there's cool rock. Yeah, see? There you go, see? Wasn't that bad. Look at that huge dinosaur. Look how big that is. Yeah? Is that a So, Jackson, look at this huge dinosaur. That's ginormous. Yes, Daxon, it will used to be. Guys, we are trying to find gnomes everywhere, and, and Emmy found, found one. We found th three. Yeah, we found, we found three. three so far, and you're supposed to find 13, apparently. We found one right on the dinosaur. A couple more to go. We Guys, haven't found a painting yet, that worries. That's disgusting. Oh, yeah. It's showing a T-Rex eating its... Okay, that's, that's gross. Oh, okay, have you guys found any more gnomes yet? Jackson, is it scary? Hi. Are those beaches? Yeah, the, well, those are like rocks, but you can pretend they're creatures. We found another one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we have found a dog. I found one. I'm surprised you saw that. This looks like a really, really, really big turtle. It's called the Archelon Ice, the Archelon Ice Key Rose. That's really hard to pronounce. That's cool. Oh my gosh. This is the biggest shark I've ever seen in my entire life. Dude, what if they have sharks like this today? Like, that would be the worst. That's so big. And apparently this, this debate rages as to the actual size of these sharks. 70 feet in length, seven inches on their teeth. Or, oh my gosh, <sighs> gotta get out of here, guys. And here is a giant brass bowl that is atomically correct. It's nice that the sculptor was thoughtful enough to add said bull testicles. <laughs> and if you're wondering, yes, I'm very bullish on Bitcoin. You know what I'm saying? Huh? 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 Digital gold. Money for the millennials. Huh? You know what I'm saying? Huh? Bitcoin? Yeah. She represents strength. Powerful women. Are they gonna build that wall, Donald? <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> I don't think that guy was homeless or anything. I just think he was like, as a street performance. Street art. He's making a statement. Donald's falling on hard times. Jackson, look, I'm at your old work. Carly's husband Jackson used to work at the New York Stock Exchange. He's smart, he's wicked smart with money, wicked smart. Here we are at Federal Hall when George Washington became the first president of the United States. This is where he was inaugurated and inside that building they have the Bible that he put his hand on when he was inaugurated, open to the page that he had his hand on while being inaugurated. I said inaugurated three times. Little history for your faces. Take it in, folks. Take it in. Take it in. Check her out. Look around. Create a memory. It was April 30th, 1789. George Washington took the oath as the first president of the United States of America. He wore really tight pants that day. Alexander Hamilton fans. This is Angelica Schuler's grave. Eliza Angelica, huh? Right there is where she lies. So cool. I haven't listened to Hamilton in a while, but that's the one that he kind of had a crush on, right? Like he was married to her sister, but he was like writing her. Anyways. Angela, Eliza, and Peggy. Schuler sisters. Yeah. It's all clicking. All right, here we are in the airport, playing that YouTube game, trying to get a video uploaded in random spots. 
It's uh, taken a while. I've tethered it to my phone because the Wi-Fi here is so slow. That's me. So you want to know how to get weird looks in the airport? Carry your open laptop with your phone plugged into a charger that's tethered to the internet so you can upload a YouTube video while you're filming yourself. People will stare at you. Guaranteed. All right, I'm trying to get this vlog up. Bless Charles Trippy's heart, who has not missed a day in almost 10 years. He's told me that he had to walk around the streets of Europe one time knocking on somebody's door to ask if he could borrow their Wi-Fi to upload a vlog. That is why he has the Guinness Book of World Records for longest consecutive vlogger. And that is why I have a beard. No, that's not why I have a beard. Anyways, I'm the last one on the flight. <sighs> it's at 50%. I don't think it's gonna go up. Sorry. I probably even get weirder looks as I get on the airplane holding my laptop. <laughs> Oh, YouTube, living that YouTube life. How am I gonna touch the outside of the airplane? I'm gonna have to kiss it, you guys. Get to use my neck pillow again. You got your life preserver? No, I put that thing in a suitcase. You don't want it? No, you don't like I think it? it made my neck sore. <laughs> it was too fast. You should get a neck pillow refund. After you called it a tire, it was like it was over then. No, I, I called you a fat turtle. <laughs> That's that. I think that was one of my favorite places. That was really cool. Wasn't that, Grandma? Yes, it was real cool. Yeah, I nice. love I love seeing all those dinosaur bones. They had some really cool dinosaur bones in there. So, anyways, you guys should go see it. All right, the shit tarts are back together, and we are doing cool tricks, guys, so get ready. <laughs> Got a little better. Okay, Emmy's up. Okay. 
We're gonna do a backflip this time. Impressive, honey. High five. High five. Yeah, good job. Wow, um, that actually felt like a real Shaytards vlog. Uh, that kind of reminded me of what it used to be like doing this. I had a lot of fun editing this video. Um, <laughs> some of the little edits that I made really may be only made me laugh, but sometimes that's the only reason you make YouTube videos because it makes you laugh. And you know, as I edit these things later, I'm like, why did I say that? I don't know. I do not know why I say and do some of the things that I say and do, but I do them. And so I don't want to edit them out. And so I'm just like, some people might be offended that I'm singing in the natural museum of the American Indians. And I can't stop them from being mad at me because they think I'm disrespecting their culture. I'm not. I just, I'm trying to be entertaining and entertain myself. And hopefully it entertains some of you. And if it offended you, please know that that is not my intention. I truly, from the bottom of my soul, if I believe anything, is that we are the same in the sense that we are brothers and sisters on this earth. And, you know, I am patriotic and proud to be an American, but I love all people on this globe that spins through space, rock and fire and ice, and one day we will all die, so it won't matter in the least. Thanks for watching today's Shaytards vlog. Uh, really, sincerely, we appreciate those thumbs up. I read your comments. Sometimes I think I shouldn't, but uh, sometimes I can't help myself. So if you leave one, I might see it, <laughs> okay? Uh, I don't know when we'll be back, but peekaboo, it's been good to see you.